Hi everyone, in this video we will be talking about types of digital devices presented to you by Precool Skills. We will start with personal computers or PCs, commonly used in homes and offices. One type of a PC is a desktop. Desktops have more space for components and provide the option to upgrade, which is basically adding extra components. Another type of a PC is laptops. Laptops have keyboards, a screen, a trackpad and a rechargeable battery. This makes them portable, meaning easy to carry or move. And our last example for a PC is single board computers. There are affordable computers used in education, embedded computing, and physical computing projects. Our next type of digital device is mobile phones. Mobile phone uses a SIM card to connect to a mobile phone network. One type of a mobile phone is specialist phones. Some phones have specialist features to meet particular needs or user accessibilities. For example, the Alto 2 phone reads out the commands to partially sighted people. Next, the one we've all been waiting for, smartphones. Smartphones are small computers with Wi-Fi and mobile phone connectivity, so you can make calls and access the internet. Smartphones also have cameras, media players, and game consoles. Next, tablets, which are bigger than smartphones but have similar features. Cameras and camcorders. Digital cameras and camcorders use light sensors to capture images formed by light passing through the device's lens. Traditionally, cameras are used to capture still images and camcorders used to capture moving images. The quality of the image captured depends on the quality of the lens, the image processor and the resolution. A good lens allows light to travel through it without introducing any defects. It also allows the user to choose how much light can travel through it. A good image processor can compensate for poor lighting conditions. Digital images are made up of pixels. Better quality sensors can capture more details and more pixels. Next is home entertainment systems. The whole system. Yes, looking at you, rich guys. So one part of a home system is the television. The quality of an image is set by the number of pixels. This is known as the screen resolution. HD, UHD, 4K or 8K are some examples. Next is the sound system. Sound system can produce loud rich sounds using high quality speakers or amplifiers. Sound systems can play from CDs, smartphones, USB or Bluetooth. Personal video recorders. It is a device that records broadcasted content so that you can watch it later. Moving on to consoles. Game consoles are designed to enable users to play video games on their television screen. Gamers are provided on disk or as downloads from the internet. They use controllers which are often wireless to control the characters, vehicles and or objects in the game. Some consoles use motion sensors while others use VR to immerse the player in a realistic gaming experience. There are some handheld versions which are available on smartphones. Next is navigation aids. This helps calculate the best route between two or more locations. They are commonly used in cars, delivery vans, and ships. It uses GPS info from satellite, so it does not need any internet. Watch out for the next video where we'll be explaining the features of a digital device. Get the quiz and the presentation at PreCoolSkills.com. Hope you enjoyed. If you found value in this video, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and you can always change your mind.